Hello guys, welcome to Bionic Tech. The Huawei Mate 40 and Mate 40 Pro are expected to be officially unveiled in the next couple of months. Huawei being Huawei, camera will probably a key feature of the phone. And we just got an early look at what the real camera module are going to look like. Posted on Weibo social network in China and spotted by GSM Arena, the module showroom for four or five separate camera components, surrounded by a circle pattern, then surrounded by a square. That's island design match up neatly with the last year device. The Huawei Mate 30 and the Mate 30 Pro had a circular camera bumps. But it's possible that the square part of the component in the image will be hidden in the casing. We have to wait until the Mate 40 phone actual appear to know for sure. Meanwhile, the Huawei P40 and the P40 Pro will release early this year, went for a regular camera array on the rear. So it would appear that Huawei is sticking to a design largely similar to the previous models when it's come to the Mate series. More interesting than the design of the module is what exactly Huawei is going to do with the camera packed inside. The both leaked Mate 40 and the Mate 40 Pro have a 3D label on the back which presume refer to time of flight TOF sensor for judging the distance in a sense with an invisible laser light. The Mate 40 Pro module also have a regular hole in the middle which is presumably for Priscope zoom camera. A Priscope camera would be the first for Mate series though. The P40 Pro did have a Priscope zoom and a TOF sensor. While it's difficult to be sure these modules look like authentic leads, they certainly match up with the unofficial renders we saw early this month renders that suggest the Mate 40 Pro would indeed come with a, an extra lens to make use of. Huawei has never been shy about pushing the camera technology forward. It was one of the first to market with a dual lens camera in 2016 and introduced the Prescope zoom camera to the world last year on the P30 Pro series. No doubt, Huawei next flagship phone will pack in plenty of innovative camera tech too. Now come to the processor. Huawei is continue to feel the effects of being banned from doing business with companies in the US and is now starting to have an impact on the components, which means the Huawei Mate 40 could be the latest with a high silicon kernel CPU inside. As the XDA developers reports, the president of Huawei Consumer Business Group, Richard Yu, announced at the event in China that the Mate 40 would be the end of the road for Huawei on brand processors. The problem is that after 15 of December, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturer Company TSMC won't be allowed to source equipment and tech from the US to make chips on behalf of high silicon which Huawei owns. Keep up at the back. Exactly the where processor for the future Huawei device might come from isn't clear at this point. It doesn't look like this though. The Exynos chips made by Samsung are going to be the, an option, but Huawei has mentioned partnering with MediaTek and Unisoft. The Mate 40 story so far. We expecting the Huawei Mate 40 to break cover at some point during October, but as with the recent Huawei handset, it won't have any Google apps or the Google code that a lot of other apps are rely on. 
Some promising rumors about the camera tech on the board, the Huawei Mate 40, have leaked out the door. A massive real camera array is being told about. Huawei phones usually excel in the camera department, and the Mate 40 should be no different. There has been speculation about a delay to the phone launch because of TSMC getting caught up in red tape as a tie to supply Huawei. But according to Yu's most recent statement, there are enough current CPUs in stock for Mate 40 to launch one time. However, you did warn the supply of the Mate 40 might be limited though, so you might want to get in early if you do want Huawei next flagship. The lack of Google service aside, we are we are impressed with the Huawei latest P40 series of handsets. Well guys, this is the video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.